button locks are in. Button locks are hot. They are on fire right now. And I, for one, well, I'm a pretty dang big fan of button locks. But is there such a thing as too much button lock? <laughs> Well, maybe we can answer that question today because this is the Tucson Knives a Vandal, a collaboration between Tucson and the one and only LTK himself. That's right, this enormous full titanium button lock folder is from the wild and wacky brain of Love of Them Knives. And just like the man, this knife is outrageous. When I call this an enormous button lock, I mean so big it boggles the mind. Looks wise, it's big. Did I mention that it's a monstrosity? Like a true behemoth. Did I say that already? Other than being immense, this is full titanium all the way around, and both sides of the handles have this nice textured milled pattern. Centered on both sides of the knife, we also have these large and classy carbon fiber inlays that bring just a touch of class to this folding machete. The backspacer, which is also a very large slab of titanium, is stonewashed to match the rest of the handles and is cleanly stamped with vandal in block lettering. The pocket clip is this borderline over milled out piece of titanium that seems microscopic in scale compared to the rest of the knife, but it works decently well and somehow this beast carries relatively all right, other than the fact that it weighs about, you know, 17 pounds. Yet I have to say, somehow regardless of the immense size, we are dealing with extremely limited hardware here. Only two TA body screws and the one pivot screw on the clip side. That's it, and yet it feels as solid as a damn rock, and as heavy as one too, if I'm being honest. Opening this thing up, and we go from big to supernova massive. So I suppose you could call this one a, a shower and a grower, you know, if only we could all be so lucky. That blade just takes this piece from a 10 all the way up to 11, a four plus inches of 14C 28 in stainless steel, rocking this subtle polished stonewash kind of look to it, hefty and hardy blade stock, a full flat grind, and just a hint of a recurve. It's out of this friggin' world, and I do like the kind of Vero style deployment dimples, I guess is what we're gonna call them, although these particular ones have proven to be a little too shallow and a little too smooth to easily get a hold of, but we'll get to that. This thing is outrageous and insane and nuts and batshit and off the wall in every single way from every single angle, and although I wouldn't call it a great looking knife, good god, do I love it. Moving on to the Urgos, and right off the bat, this knife was made for, um, how do I put this, big hands. It feels like a sword in the hand, more than it feels like a folding knife. It, but it's really well balanced in the hand. It's it's heavy, yes, but well balanced tip to tail. There are some subtle ergonomic lines that aid in comfort, and we of course have the added grippiness from the milled texturing on the titanium scales, so you feel really locked in on this piece. The clip is honestly a non-issue, especially for me, because it sits so far back on that giant handle that I barely ever come in contact with it when I'm using the knife. It choked way back, and you feel like you can take down trees, choked up with the help of an actual usable choil, and you can take on some relatively dainty and detail-oriented slicing. Kind of. It's surprising to me, honestly, just how nice this thing is to hold and to use. Excellent ergos. Now, a folding machete, with great ergos and top-notch button lock fidget factor is borderline useless without a good blade, and this particular folding machete button lock does in fact have an excellent blade. Like I mentioned before, this variant, aka the original version, is rocking a 14C 28 in stainless blade with a full flat grind, and even though the blade stock is kind of outrageous like everything else, that flat grind brings it down to a decently thin and slicey final cutting edge. And I have to say, there is something so insanely satisfying about using something this big and heavy and ridiculous to absolutely melt through junk mail and cardboard boxes and everything I can get my hands on. It just feels so right. It makes me feel alive. And since I picked this knife up all of those months ago, very recently LTK had another batch of these done with M390 blades deep. And to that I say, hell freaking yeah. All around, this four mile long piece of stainless steel isn't pretty by any means, but it is incredible at its job, which is cutting things. It is an amazing blade. And finally, the action, and this being a button lock with a giant blade that is running on cage bearings, I had high expectations. And as you can clearly see here, those expectations were met, without a doubt. 
but it did take a little extra work on my part to get it to this level. Out of the box, it was basically impossible to thumb flick or spidey flick this knife using the dimples. The spring that the button sits on was just too high strung and too stiff to allow anyone, big or small, to break the blade out of its closed position. The fix was relatively easy though, I took it apart, which takes all of 10 seconds thanks to the minimal hardware, took the spring out and gently squeezed it a few times with a pair of pliers. I then put the spring back in, put it together, and lo and behold, the action you see before you. A guillotine is an understatement. This thing absolutely free falls without question, and it makes some incredible noises on the open and the close. I do wish we had traditional, you know, fully milled out slots instead of these dimples, but once you get used to them, they're fine. Great action on a great big knife, as long as you're willing to do a little bit of extra work. Oh, and one last caveat about the action. If you squeeze the spring a little too much or soften it up, even the smallest bit too much, the lockup becomes an issue. This is a fact I only found out after two or three months of use and carry. How did I find this out, you may ask? Well, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a funny story. I dropped it onto a stick of butter. Um, and the spine hit the butter ever so gently, but it was enough to fail the lock. And so I tested it on my leg, same thing. Then I tested it on a couch pillow, same thing, failed the lock. Then I went to try it on my cat, but my wife yelled at me. The point is that the spring is all that stands between your normal daily life and a trip to the hospital, missing a few fingers. It was an easy fix. Again, took it apart, stretched the spring out just a tiny bit, tested the spine whack, and we're good to go. But it's, keep that in mind. So where does all of this lead me with this insane piece of cutlery from Love the Knives and Tucson? Well, I mean, honestly, I'm in love with it. It's too big and too insane for me to daily carry or even leave the house with. But even in the 14C28 in blade steel, it's a solid value at 140-ish bucks retail. It is not, however, a great value at the insane secondary prices it has seen on eBay. Like, I'm not joking. This has been up for sale on eBay and has sold on eBay for $500 to $600. Outrageous. If size matters, then this is just about as big and as good as a button lock can get, and for that, I can gladly recommend this thing, you know, if only for a good laugh. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.